In this short video, I will be discussing some of the new features of the 2022 0601 Term Pro software update. If you currently own Term Pro, you'll definitely want to upgrade your software as this is a major update and it includes many new features and operational enhancements. To update your software, select Help, Update from the Term Pro pull down menu. This update includes a new 3D CAD engine. It's faster and produces even better photorealistic renders than before. This version also introduces a new hole placement tool that allows you to place both circular and rectangular ports anywhere in the box. The hole placement tool can be found on the wood design toolbar. Click on the hole button and the tool will be displayed. The first step is to select the shape of the hole you wish to place. The driver and vent buttons are used to configure the hole based on the existing design. However, you should always verify the hole dimensions as driver mounting hole information is not currently included in the driver library. This will be added in a future update. You can also manually specify the hole dimension. If you're creating a hole for a driver, then you should note the surround dimensional value. This value and the depth dimension can help you identify clearance issues before fabricating your box. Once you have the desired dimension specified, click on the Place button. Next, select the enclosure panel where you wish the hole to be placed. A preliminary hole showing the displacement of the driver or vent will be displayed. Use the arrow keys to move the hole to the desired location. You'll always want to ensure that the driver or vent does not impact another driver, panel, or vent when construction is complete. I will change the viewing angle and then hide one of the enclosure panels to verify clearance. In this example, you can see that the back of the driver will actually impact the bottom panel of the enclosure. I'll now move the driver upwards until the driver clears the bottom panel. Click the Done button when placement for the current hole is complete. In this example, I want to install two drivers. I will now add a second hole and place it on the enclosure so that the two drivers are symmetric around the center of the box. Since the hole for the second driver is the same as that for the first driver, I don't need to make any changes to the hole dimensions. Click on the Place button, select the desired enclosure panel, and then place the driver. Click the Done button when placement for the current hole is complete. I will now add a rectangular vent hole. Select the rectangular radio button and enter the desired height, width, and depth dimensions for the vent. Click on the Place button, select the desired panel, and then use the arrow keys to move the vent hole into position. Click Done when placement is complete. Once you're done placing the preliminary holes, you can click the Finalize button to actually embed the holes into the enclosure. Another new feature is the ability to export CAD files for use with automated manufacturing equipment or other CAD programs. To export a CAD file for your design, click on the Export button on the toolbar. A window will open that displays the supported export formats. Select the desired export format and then click OK. The design will be exported. To view the default folder containing the exported CAD files, select File, Browse CAD Files from the Term Pro pull down menu. Holes are also shown on the blueprints. Click on the Fabrication tab and then select the front panel to see the holes that were just placed. The hole specifications can be found along the bottom of the page. These values refer to the center of each hole. I hope you're as excited about these new features as we are. Once again, to update your software, select Help. Update from the Term Pro pull down menu. Thanks for watching.